You may have noticed a new brand in the milk alternative section at your local grocery store. Not Milk is a new product by Notco, a startup that makes plant-based meat and dairy substitutes. The New York headquartered company is on a mission to transform the food industry with emerging technology. So what makes this milk substitute so special? Well, for start, it actually tastes like milk, like real milk, not almond milk, soy milk, or oat milk. I'm talking creamy, thick, frothy milk. This is despite the fact that it's made from plants. Not Milk consists of cabbage, pea protein, and pineapple. So how do they get a bunch of vegetables to taste like milk? The recipe was developed by artificial intelligence, meaning that they've trained a machine learning model to understand food, both in terms of its molecular makeup up, as well as its flavor profile. I spoke with Notco's CEO and founder, Matthias Mushnik, to learn more. When we went back to kind of like the origins of food, we discovered that the food R&D was one of the biggest problems in it, right? The food R&D has been operating for the last 50 years exactly the same way, with the same science, with the same technology, right? It's basically three guys in a lab coat in an experimental kitchen doing trial and error and reading research papers of 1980s on how to apply soy to replace animal-based ingredients. So that was it. You cannot expect to have an amazing food landscape or a very you know, promising future of food if you're operating with a very obsolete technology. So our approach as NOTCO was, okay, let's create a technology to elevate what you know we can do with food. We have no idea what we can do. We design an algorithm that is allowing us to predict which combination of plant-based ingredients should result in the same sensorial experience and physical chemical components and molecular attributes than an animal-based target. While AI is being leveraged in the food industry for a variety of things, it's made the most impact in terms of automation and improving supply chains. This is mostly because AI can't taste food in the same way a human can, but the Notco team found a way to train AI with human feedback. We have 15 different chefs all over the world that will interact with a platform, take it to the kitchen, uh, you know, prototype everything that is coming out of the algorithm, good recipes, bad recipes, doesn't matter. We have a trained panel that feedbacks the algorithm with different complexities of flavor. According to Statistica, the plant-based food market is projected to reach $77.8 billion U.S. by 2025, which may explain why Notco was just evaluated at $1.5 billion after raising a nine-figure Series C in the summer of 2021, making them a unicorn startup with investors like Jeff Bezos. What's more is that the startup just announced a joint venture with Kraft Heinz, where they'll leverage the distribution and buying power of the fifth largest food and beverage company in the world. Notco isn't the only company exploring the possibilities of AI in the kitchen. According to a concept video from Sony, the Japanese multinational conglomerate is also working on an AI-enabled application that helps chefs explore gastronomical data points. In their vision, in the future, a menu or dish could be developed based on abstract inputs like music preference. IBM is also working in collaboration with McCormick and Company to analyze taste data and create new flavor combinations. But so far, Notco is a leader in the market in that they're not just experimenting with AI. Their products are already on store shelves. Their milk alternatives are already sold in Canada and the US, and according to Mateus, they'll be launching other categories, including not chicken and not beef later this year. In addition to opening up a whole new world of culinary possibilities, AI-generated recipes also have the potential to impact the planet in a positive way. Current global food production, which is based on animal farming, uses up to one-third of the Earth's surface and emits more CO2 than all of the world's transportation combined. It's led by inefficient and abusive standards, not to mention the careless usage of water, land, and energy. It is the main cause of deforestation and a leading cause of greenhouse gases like methane. So not milk is better for the planet, but is it better for me? I'm not a nutritionist, so I asked someone who is. I think that I would say overall, not milk is a marginally better option if you are looking to sort of avoid inflammation and improve gut health. The big improvement I would say is the protein content. Pea protein is really clean protein. So it's good for me and it's good for the planet. What's the catch? This is the part of the segment where you expect me to tell you the price, and because it's a product that's both healthy and green, you assume it's gonna cost you a pretty penny. But actually, Notco's products are cost comparative. 
Compared to other popular milk alternatives like Khalifa, Silk, and Earth's Own, Not Milk was actually cheaper. And compared to organic milk, Not Milk came in dollars cheaper compared to exactly the same thing, regular whole milk. And that got me thinking, why is it that when a more environmentally friendly or healthier alternative comes along, we expect it to cost more? That's probably because we live in a world where the costs of shopping with our values are passed on to the consumer. But what if it didn't have to be that way? What if AI technology can help us hack our way to a future where we can make healthier, more sustainable choices while providing nourishment for our growing population? All without the poor treatment of animals and the planet. Now that's innovation I can drink to. For Technality, I'm Amanda Costco.